in this astonishing incident. Wild animals demonstrated their capacity to surprise us. A wounded mama bear, burdened with her dying cub, approached a man named Richard. What ensued was truly unbelievable. Richard, who had constructed most of his log home and was in the process of building the porch on a tranquil day, suddenly found himself facing an unexpected disruption. As he turned around to grab a nail, Richard was startled to find a massive brown bear standing right in front of him. While he had encountered bears before, seeing one in the wild, let alone face to face, was a novel experience. The bear appeared bloody and injured, suggesting potential danger. However, what astonished Richard even more was witnessing the bear holding a dying cub between its powerful jaws. Initially uncertain if the big bear had harmed the cub, Richard, with a loaded weapon in hand, examined the scene closely. To his horror, he discovered that the cub had a bear trap around its body, causing severe injuries. The situation was gruesome. But Richard, a retired combat medic accustomed to such scenarios, maintained his composure. His military past had exposed him to even more severe injuries that lingered in his memory. Upon concluding his military career, Richard sought solace in a quiet place to decompress and relax. Hence, he purchased a 10-acre homestead with a national park nearby. Expecting thriving wildlife but never anticipating such a close encounter. Both the mother and cub appeared to be injured possibly from the cub being trapped. Though Richard wished to help, approaching them seemed impossible due to the potential danger. Faced with this immense challenge, Richard pondered how he could assist them. The mother's motives remained unclear. Was she genuinely seeking help? Or could she turn aggressive at any movement? Contemplating a strategy to approach the bears and offer assistance. Richard knew it was a challenging endeavor. Even if he could reach the small bear without risking the wrath of its protective mother. He understood the delicate nature of young bear cubs. Recalling a past experience during one of his tours in the Middle East. Richard had encountered a Syrian brown bear cub left orphaned after poachers killed its mother. On that fateful day. Richard's platoon traversed a small village where the bear cub had appeared in a field. The local farmer, having no use for a bear, especially a sick one, wanted it removed from his land. Witnessing a heated argument between a young boy shielding the cub and another man brandishing a stick, Richard, through a translator, learned they were debating whether to end the bear's life. Driven by compassion, Richard approached the small, bleeding, and weak cub. Without hesitation, he covered her in a blanket and, without his superior's knowledge, transported her back to the base. Despite examining her, Richard harbored little hope for her survival. Without her mother to provide nourishment, the cub faced the risk of malnutrition and infections. Given her tender age, realizing the monumental challenge he had undertaken, Richard acknowledged that the base lacked the necessary space for a bear. Additionally, the cub demanded round-the-clock care and sustenance. A formidable task given the pressing circumstances. Undoubtedly, Nursing the bear cub back to health demanded significant time and sacrifice. But Richard was determined to put in the effort. He successfully persuaded his fellow soldiers to join the cause. Teaching them how to tend to the cub's wounds inflicted by the farmer and administer necessary medication. The team worked together. Taking turns to comfort her in pain. Feeding her every few hours and even allowing her to share their sleeping bunks during her illness. The cub, named Ursa, became an unofficial pet. 
fostering a strong bond with the entire team. However, their camaraderie with Ursa raised eyebrows when their commander discovered the situation. Despite the affectionate bond they had formed, the base was deemed unsuitable for a bear. Especially one of an endangered species. The commander insisted that Ursa be released back into the wild to avoid further complications. Before the news could reach any outlets, Richard bid a bittersweet farewell to Ursa, leaving an indelible mark on his memory. As Richard found himself armed and ready to intervene with the wild bears in front of him, memories of his time with Ursa flooded back. Despite his desire to help them, the potential danger was undeniable. The mother bear growled menacingly, nudging the dying cub toward Richard. It was a clear plea for assistance. And faced with the risk, Richard grappled with a difficult decision. While safety dictated he move inside the house, the apparent plea for help from the bear did not alter the inherent danger of the situation. Acknowledging the risks but moved by compassion, Richard opted to approach the dying cub. Surprisingly, as he moved closer, the mother bear stepped back, as if understanding the need to give him some space. The delicate balance between compassion and caution played out in this tense encounter with the wild bears. The bear emitted moaning sounds, conveying a heartbreaking sense of distress and Richard couldn't help but be deeply moved with sympathy. Acting swiftly, he rushed inside, contacted the wildlife rescue team, and grabbed a first aid kit. Returning to the perilous scene outside, the cub had already lost a significant amount of blood, and time was of the essence. Aware that he needed to act promptly, Richard, though apprehensive, gently picked up the cub and proceeded to open the bear trap. As he carefully worked to free the cub, a terrible sound emanated from the injured creature. Fearful that the mother bear might interpret his actions as harm to the cub, Richard was momentarily concerned. However, the mother bear remained motionless, watching and waiting for him to intervene. Once the trap was removed, Blood began to seep from the wounds, forming a pool underneath the cub. Realizing the urgency of the situation, Richard focused on staunching the bleeding to prevent the cub from succumbing before help arrived. The cub had become still, almost unconscious, and Richard's hands were now covered in blood. He cleaned, stitched, and dressed the wounds desperately attempting to stem the flow of blood. Though the makeshift bandaging quickly turned red, it seemed to have succeeded in halting the bleeding, albeit temporarily. Meanwhile, the mother bear, although not the tiny baby he had recently cared for, appeared distressed. Richard, torn between wanting to assist her and ensuring his own safety, observed her moaning softly and swaying from side to side. Despite the desire to help, he couldn't approach her. Being preoccupied with the ailing cub, Richard sensed a heightened intensity, akin to being in a war zone. As he initiated CPR in a desperate attempt to revive the cub, paralleling the feeling of fighting to save a comrade on a battlefield. Amidst the dimming hope, a sudden turn of events brought an even bleaker outlook, the mama bear. Two. Collapsed. One moment she was seated. And the next. She slumped to the side. Richard's heart sank, a familiar feeling of despair gripped him. Reminiscent of his most challenging moments when he reflected on lives he couldn't save. In those times. Memories of individuals he did manage to rescue, like the small bear Orsa, provided the strength to persist. However, now it seemed like all the good might slip through his fingers, and he felt powerless. Desperation set in for Richard, 
compounded by the realization that he lacked the necessary medical supplies to aid such a large animal. In this critical moment, the sound of approaching vehicles signaled the arrival of the wildlife rescue team. Richard, never more grateful, observed the mama bear regain consciousness. However, the commotion overwhelmed her, leaving her unsure whether to reach for her baby or flee. Weakened and unsteady on her feet, she stood between Richard, the cub, and the arriving team. Richard, steadfast in his efforts, continued CPR on the cub while the team moved swiftly. The noise, however, agitated the mama bear delaying the effects of the sedative. She fought to stay awake, complicating the situation. Eventually succumbing to the drug, she fell asleep. With her subdued, one group attended to her wounds, while another rushed to the cub, taking over his care from Richard. The cub, with deep wounds into his small body, had experienced substantial bleeding. Yet, Richard's intervention had stemmed most of it. When the team took over, they initiated fluids and oxygen for the cub. Working tirelessly to stabilize him, Richard's efforts had brought the cub back to life. And now the challenge was to maintain that fragile victory. The team's coordinated actions focused on the well-being of both the mama bear and the cub, navigating the critical moments with urgency and expertise. Richard took a moment to assess the mama bear's condition. While she hadn't seemed too distressed when she brought her cub to Richard, her current state was alarming. A severe wound marred her, and she had lost a significant amount of blood. The origin of her injury remained unclear, leaving the possibility of another trap entanglement. Both bears were ailing and needed urgent transportation to the wildlife sanctuary, where the vet recommended surgical intervention for both. Exhausted after the bears were loaded for transport, Richard took a moment to cleanse himself in the shower. Contemplating the blood on his arms and shirt. The outlook for the cub's survival seemed grim. Once recovered, he headed to the sanctuary to monitor their progress. The cub, undergoing extensive surgery due to the trap-induced injuries, faced a challenging recovery, wires and drains protruded from his body necessitating pain medication and antibiotics. Despite the uncertain prognosis, Richard spent most of his time at the sanctuary, offering solace to the cub by rubbing his head and providing comfort during moments of pain. The mama bear, while in better condition, remained unconscious, her wounds requiring stitches and fluid therapy to counteract blood loss. In the ensuing days, the cub emerged from surgery, yet his survival hung in the balance. Richard, recalling his experience with the small bear Orsa, knew the importance of love and attention for a bear's recovery. With the cub's condition too precarious to reunite him with his mother, Richard dedicated himself to staying by his side day and night. Bears inherently affectionate creatures thrive on attention richard's commitment echoed the care he had given to orsa years ago understanding that love and affection could bolster the cub's chances of survival during one night richard deeply invested in the cub's well-being was fast asleep next to the cub's cage when an unexpected turn of events unfolded a distressing turn of events unfolded when the cub cried out. And Richard noticed something amiss. Although awake, the cub appeared disoriented and then started seizing, an alarming indication that a serious issue had arisen. If not for Richard's vigilant presence, the worsening condition might have gone unnoticed. The cub's internal stitches had come loose, leading to renewed bleeding. An urgent intervention was required, necessitating another surgical procedure. Despite this setback, 
the cub gradually showed signs of improvement. Contrastingly, the mama bear faced a more challenging recovery. Weak and afflicted by an infection in her wound, her health deteriorated. While her physical wounds were treatable, her spirits remained low. Placed in a spacious enclosure for play, she exhibited signs of depression, remaining motionless in a corner, refusing to eat, causing deep concern among the caretakers. Richard, empathizing with the mother bear's emotional state, suspected that she believed she had lost her cup. Each time she saw him, she approached the fence pressing her head against it while emitting mournful sounds. The physical barrier prevented Richard from offering direct comfort. Undeterred, he devised a plan to uplift her spirits, hoping to provide her with a reason to persevere. Though the cub was making progress, he still required medication, and the staff hesitated to reunite him with his mother due to medical concerns. Undaunted, Richard sought permission to bring the cub to the fence, intending to show him to his mother. Initially unresponsive, the mother bear lifted her head upon hearing Richard's call. Witnessing her cub in his arms, she sprinted to the fence, standing upright in recognition. As she smelled the cub through the fence, a transformative moment unfolded, the realization that this was her offspring. The once despondent mother now emitted joyful sounds, rolling around in her enclosure, reinvigorated by the presence of her cub. From that point forward the mama bear's demeanor transformed, radiating happiness. She resumed eating and even engaged in swimming in the small pond within her enclosure. The cub's health also improved. And it wasn't long before the caretakers decided to reunite him with his mother. Witnessing their reunion was a heartwarming moment, the mama bear appeared to hug her cub. And they joyfully played together. During their healing process, the wildlife sanctuary team conducted thorough checks in the forest where the bears would be released. Their aim was to ensure a safer environment. Free from traps or potential dangers. Hunting bears in that area was prohibited, emphasizing the importance of preserving their natural habitat. Eventually, the time came for Richard to bid farewell to the mama bear and her cub. Their journey back to the wild was carefully orchestrated. Placed in a large crate, the bears were transported on the back of a truck to the forest where they originally belonged. Upon release, the mama bear paused, turned around, stood on her hind legs, and emitted a loud growl. It felt like a gesture of gratitude, a way of thanking Richard for his role in their rehabilitation. They then ventured into the forest, disappearing from immediate sight while Richard didn't have close encounters with them afterward. He had the privilege of occasionally spotting them around the river or during hikes. The cub grew into adulthood, mirroring its mother's behavior. Although the mama bear never returned to Richard's cabin, he felt a connection whenever he saw her in the wild. Believing that she recognized him, Richard continued his efforts with the wildlife sanctuary, assisting numerous animals. However, the bond he formed with the bears remained deeply meaningful. What would you do if you encountered a full-grown bear? Thanks for watching. Join us for even more amazing stories. This dog always turns its face to the wall when facing humans, is unwilling to communicate with humans, and even shows a painful expression. What happened to the dog that caused it to become like this? Animals have feelings. And if they suffer a blow, it will not only hurt their bodies, but also their hearts. Recently, an animal rescue center in the United States rescued a dog named Angela who was abused and abandoned by its owner. When Angela was rescued, 
Her body was covered with scars and there was no good meat around her. So she had to curl up and hide in a corner, shivering. And the staff found that Angela was somehow resistant to communicating with humans. It's hard to do even just looking at each other. This situation lasted for quite a while. The staff tried many methods. Trying to communicate with Angela. But none of them worked very well. And they found that once the staff put a little pressure on Angela. It would immediately turn its head away from looking at the staff. And turn your face to the wall. As if you are facing the wall and thinking about your mistakes. The staff felt that Angela's reaction was very strange. So they took Angela to consult a veterinarian. After a series of examinations on Angela. The veterinarian found that there was no major problem with Angela's body. The doctor speculated that it was Angela's psychological problems. According to relevant sources, Angela has been abandoned and raised many times. And the last owner not only cruelly abused Angela, but even cruelly abandoned Angela again in the end. So the doctor came to the conclusion that the reason why Angela had these abnormal reactions was caused by the dark life she experienced before being rescued. These painful memories hurt Angela forever. And left a serious psychological shadow on Angela. Which made her fear of human beings in her heart. And it was difficult to accept contact with human beings for a while, the staff felt very distressed seeing it like this. And finally everyone came up with a solution together. Since Angela is afraid of getting along with humans. Then find another dog. And let Angela communicate with other dogs first. Infected and then attempt to slowly come into contact with humans. The staff carefully selected a dog with a similar experience and let it open Angela's heart. Sure enough. This method worked. And the two little guys quickly became good friends. Staying together to eat, play, and live together. Driven by her companions. Angela is no longer afraid of humans. And gradually accepts the staff and gets close to them. After seeing Angela's transformation. The staff knew that she should be ready for a new family. So they put Angela and her friends up for adoption. Eventually they were adopted together by a young and loving couple. The couple sympathized with Angela's experience and promised to take good care of Angela and her little friends. The two little ones finally have a new family again. The couple has a piece of land in the countryside. They often bring their two little ones here to play in their spare time. Being close to nature makes everyone feel relaxed and happy. Angela became more and more open-minded. And got along very harmoniously with the owner, and after Angela was adopted. It has undergone great changes within half a year. Probably because of the meticulous care and care of the owners. Angela. Who once had a tragic experience and was unhappy. Regained her happiness. It has returned to the point where it can bark competitively with the neighbor's dog. And it is no longer the same dog that only faces the wall and thinks about it. It is so gratifying. Here I would like to appeal to everyone not to injure dogs wantonly. Whether it is physical or mental injury. It may affect their whole life. The dogs in the next story. They met kind strangers in the most difficult time and got good help. There are two stray dogs curled up on the lawn in front of this pizzeria. The weather is so cold and it is snowing heavily. The two dogs are covered in snow. They are shaking constantly. If they spend the day like this. They will definitely freeze to death. Fortunately. The owner of the pizza shop is a kind-hearted man. He found these two poor dogs. So he hurried back to the shop and took out some dog food to feed these hungry and cold dogs. Only then did the two stray dogs recover. Knowing that it was the kind shopkeeper who rescued them, the owner saw that the two dogs were angry. So he left with confidence. 
unexpectedly. The two dogs followed the owner back to the pizzeria. The owner of the store looked at the cold weather outside and felt uneasy about letting the two brothers outside. So he opened the door and invited the two dogs to rest in the store. Unexpectedly. The sensible puppies just wagged their tails at the door of the store and never entered the store. As if they knew not to go in and disturb the owner's guests. No matter what method the shopkeeper uses. Even if they use food to lure them. They will not come in. And they will always just stay at the door and wag their tails at the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper had no choice but to take out the food and put it on the ground. So they ate it slowly. The kindness of a meal made the dog deeply remember it in his mind. Since then. The owner of the pizzeria has had two little followers. No matter where the owner goes. The two stray dog brothers will follow the owner and accompany him. No matter it is windy or rainy. The two dogs will eagerly greet and send off the owner when he goes to and from get off work every day. In the heavy snow and such bad weather. The two brothers still waited in the snow and never went far. And the two dogs have attracted the attention of many customers in the store by virtue of their cute looks and synchronized movements with each other. Customers have taken pictures of these two interesting dogs and posted them on the internet. Just like this. Spreading the word. The two dogs became internet celebrities. Attracting many customers who came to visit this pizzeria. And the business of the pizzeria was much better than before. And after this period of time, the owner of the shop was also moved by their loyalty and hoped to take them in very much. So, the owner of the pizza shop drove around to inquire and then found out that these two puppies really have no owners now. They were originally watchdogs of a nearby factory. But they were abandoned by their owners because the factory closed down. While feeling sad about what happened to them. The owner also felt that he was so lucky. The owner got to know these two little lucky stars through a momentary act of kindness. And made up his mind to adopt the two little guys. The next day. He bought a luxurious big dog house. With everyone's help. The owner placed the new home of the two dogs at the entrance of his pizza shop. He also bought small scarves with bright colors and beautiful styles for the two dogs to wear around them. The owner also gave the two dogs nice names. One called Minnie and the other Pizza. And the combination of the two happened to be the name of the pizza shop. And the two dogs also successfully became the owners of the pizza shop. Mascots. They ended their difficult homeless life and now have a warm home. We should not give up on those dogs who are in deep difficulties and pain. Let alone abandon them at will and mistreat them. Although dogs are animals. They are also living creatures with flesh and blood and emotional activities. Dogs are our good companions to human beings. They can not only bring us happiness. But also bring warm comfort to our hearts. We should treat them kindly. Just like treating ourselves and our own family members, well. That's all for this video. If you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Like and comment. We will continue to bring you more touching stories about animals. So see you next time.